Hello. Hello, hello. Everybody is hello. here. Welcome, welcome. I'm going to sit down and <laughs> you can see my face in just a second. I'm going to get my apron on because I was painting away here. And I'm like, I'm going to get paint on my, my new favorite sweatshirt. And I want to keep it nice. Okay, you guys, if you're watching this, welcome. Um, I am, I'm just going to make sure that we are here on the Facebook page and it should be coming up, but if you guys are here watching, you probably are watching the replay. I see there's a couple of you popping on, so that must mean we are live. Can you hear me okay? I don't know if they're going to be a... Can you hear everything okay? Sounds like it. Okay. I'm hoping. <laughs> Let me know because we're doing StreamYard again. And if you guys watched my last video on StreamYard, you know that it didn't end very well. So I didn't know if I really wanted to. Um, to try it out but I'm gonna so if you guys would sprinkle this video I would appreciate it and you're more than welcome to sprinkle it to your own personal pages um, just don't sprinkle it somewhere where you shouldn't be <laughs> so for those of you who are here if you want to say hello I would love it um, the trouble with having all of these different things is sometimes I look at them and they're freezing and they drive me crazy and so I hope that we have a good evening. You guys can go ahead and um, I'm just going to come over here and make sure that I can see your comments too and we'll get started. I wanted to do a fun little paint technique today. Um, okay, Christy, you're here and I can see your comments. Yay. I hope you can hear me and I hope everything is good and again, like I said, the last time we did a stream yard, it shut off randomly and I have no idea. Hello, Tracy. Thanks for joining me. I have no idea what happened. So I'm just going to go with it and hope that it works because I, I know that you guys love this when I have the overhead camera so you can watch what I'm doing. Um, okay. You can hear me and hello, Jennifer. All right. Awesome. So I'm going to be painting and doing a fun little, um, chippy paint technique tonight and I'm going to show you guys what I'm going to be painting on. So I got these cutting boards. Um, they are probably, they're probably a quarter inch thick, but I got these from my favorite craft source place, which is craft deals. And I put the link for that in the comments up above. Um, I don't get any kickback or anything like that if you guys shop there, but if you guys shop there, you will love it. It is where I get a lot of my wood supplies and things like that simply because um, I can't afford to get them locally and cut them and sand them and make them look as nice as Craft Deals does. So you want to check them out. I put a link in there and I... I I think I linked it to directly to these cutting boards. So there's a few different sizes. So we're going to be working with this tonight. So let me, let me get things changed over here so that you can see what I'm doing. Um, no, here we go. There we go. There you go. Now you guys can see what I've got done here. So what I did is I went ahead and I did a little bit of prep work here for you guys. Hello, crafty Mary. You're so funny. <laughs> Hello. Yes, I am being crafty and I realize that it's going to be showing upside down. I don't really think it's going to matter for you guys, um, for what we're doing tonight, but I will put it like this so that it's not upside down. So this is the board, the mini cutting board that I got. This isn't the mini, sorry. This is a, one of their regular size cutting boards that I got from Craft Deals. Let's see. It's probably about 14 inches by 9 inches, so it's perfect. It'll make a perfect little sign for us tonight. 
And then I went ahead and I used my favorite stain, which is this gel stain from Minwax in the walnut color. It's a little bit darker than I normally like to stain things, but for this project, it doesn't really matter. We're going to give it a uh, chippy look by using Vaseline. And I grabbed this Vaseline. This is the only thing we had, and it's with cocoa butter. I don't think it's going to make any difference, but I have to tell you, it smells nice in here now with the, <laughs> the stain and the cocoa butter on the... Um, Vaseline and so I didn't like I scooped it out of there I'm not gonna put my paintbrush in there because this is the Vaseline that we we use and I put some Vaseline here in this little um, tub and I've got a paintbrush and so I'm just gonna kind of get a little bit of the Vaseline I've let my stain dry one good thing about the gel stains painters tape right here you know what, Mary? I have some packing tape because I did have painter's tape, but I don't know what I did with it. There. Okay. There we go. Now it won't annoy us anymore. Um, okay. Well, I talked about that the last time and then I never changed the paper. Oh, well. It was still looking semi-decent today. So, okay. So I've got my Vaseline. I've got my board and it's stained and the stain is dry like i said this gel stain it will dry a lot faster than regular stain and it doesn't have the same fumes as um as it would like if you were using a regular like water-based stain i think these are still water-based maybe but anyway whatever anyway that's what i use and so i've just got my vaseline and i've just got like a an old chibi brush it's nothing really fancy um in fact my mom she found a box of these and some stuff that my dad had and she's like you might as well use them for crafts and i'm like this is perfect because when i'm done i can just chuck it throw it away so i'm just going to kind of start i'm going to start from the top here and i'm just going to kind of work my way down and what happens with the vaseline is that we're going to paint over this and everywhere that we paint it, the Vaseline is going to keep it from sticking to the wood. It's going to keep that, prevent that paint from sticking to the wood. And you kind of want to, you know, work in one, one motion. And you also kind of want to go in a way that is going to seem like it um, aged naturally. So, of course, like normally around the edges, that's where things kind of get scuffed up. And, and I'm just trying to work in the same, same motion. And I'm not getting a whole lot of Vaseline. You don't want, you don't want a lot because you're going to also have to need this to eventually dry. <laughs> so you don't want there to be tons of Vaseline on here. So I'm just kind of pulling some up from the bottom of this board. And then I'll just kind of go in randomly. So I'm also going to be adding um, a stencil to this. And so I don't want to get too crazy um, going in here and doing this. But this is what I'm going to do. So this would be fun on so many different things. If you want things to look like you have and like they were aged, especially if you have something new and you want to kind of make it look that give it that aged antique look. This is kind of a fun, fun technique for that. So then what you're going to want to do is let that dry completely. And I used my Waverly White Chalk Paint. Um, you guys know that I'm a huge fan of the Waverly Chalk Paint. And again, this will just also help things kind of dry really well and um, or dry really quickly. You don't have to wait too long for the paint. But any kind of paint, if you wanted to take it outside and spray paint it, that would work just as well. You could do that too. So because we don't have all night 
and I feel like I am on um, on TV because the magic of t television. <laughs> Voila! We've got this board, and we have already got it painted, and it's still a little wet. And you can kind of see that already some of the spots where the Vaseline was is not letting that paint adhere and it's not quite a hundred percent dry and I thought I grabbed paper towels over there. I'm not going to want to do this with a paint with a, a baby wipe because I don't want to pull off the the white paint but as I painted it, I just used a regular old um, paintbrush, any kind of paintbrush. And like I said, again, if you would rather have gone and taken it out and spray painted it, you could do that too. But I wasn't in the mood to go sit out in the garage and in the cold. <laughs> so I just used my white chalk paint and painted it. And you can probably see down at the bottom where I kind of went the wrong direction. You kind of want to make sure that you go all in the same direction. And I still have some that's still kind of wet. So I'm just going to hit it really good, really quickly with my heat gun. So just so I don't pull off any of that paint in spots that I didn't want it. And then I'm just going to take my paper towel and everywhere where I put the Vaseline is just going to kind of carefully come off. And obviously you're not going to want to get too crazy with it. It really just depends on how much Vaseline you put on and where you put it and whether or not you let it dry all the way. Oops, I must have got a little wild there with it. You can kind of see some spots where I did get a little bit more. But the fun part about it is that that just creates a unique look to your board. And I love how chippy that looks. Like this looks like something I would have found probably in my grandmother's kitchen. <laughs> and I love it. It just makes for a super cute look. That was super cute and super easy, right? What do you guys think? Is everybody loving it? Throw some hearts up there if this is something you think you could possibly do and create on your own. I think you guys could. I think you could. So this would work um, really well on some of the um, kits that I've got in my shop. It would be really cute. So I'm going to let that sit for just a minute and then we're going to stencil it. And I'm going to use one of the, um, this is the home pack from Essential, Essential Stencil. And I know that I've shared this with you guys before, um, but I decided to become a brand representative for Essential Stencil. Now, what that means is simply I shared a link up in the description below or above. And if you use the code DIYKD10, you can get 10% off of your order. And then I just get a little kickback. So I'm not selling these stencils or anything like that. I am just an affiliate for them, um, which just means that if you shop on my link, then I just get a little bit of change back for it. So for me sharing and you purchasing with my link, it just kind of helps me out a little bit in that way. So that's what it means when I say that I am a brand affiliate for Essential Stencil. Now I have made my own stencils, I've told you guys before, and I like to use the one-time stencils, but using these is so much easier. It saves me so much time and a little bit of money, it saves you. So this is the home pack. These are six by six stencils. 
and they're reusable over and over again. So I'm going to show you guys a couple of them. I think that this is the one that I want to use on here. I think that that one would be so stinking cute. Um, there's also this home sweet home one. Let's see. Let's stay home. Now that would be a super fun sign too. What is this? Our nest. Yes, that would be cute. And if you put like a little, maybe like made a little wreath or something, that would be really cute too. But I still think I like the other one. This is us our life, our story, our home. Now that would be really cute to make something with a frame or like hang some pictures with. And then what is this one? This is our happy place. So all of these actually would work really good, but I really think that this, this home one is going to work the best. So I still feel like there's a little bit of tackiness there. So I'm just going to hit it one more time. Push me right there. Maybe there's a little bit more Vaseline right there. I don't want to pull, well, it's very distressed anyway, but I don't want to pull my stencil up and make too big of a mess. Yes, Christy, you think this one fits perfectly? The home one. And then I think I'm going to add a little bit of greenery and a bow up here. I'm not really sure, but I found this ribbon. I found both of them. Guess where I found these at? I found them at the tractor supply. <laughs> and they were in their clearance Christmas ribbon. But look at how cute those little chicks are. And they kind of coordinate. You can kind of do, I mean, you could do a little bit of everything on this. But I really feel like these cute little chicks and... If I set this up in my kitchen and put the bowl next to the, like a bowl of eggs from the, well, my chickens are not laying any eggs. They're just freeloaders. They are. Okay. So I'm going to get my little paint has dried and cat, we're busy here. If you want to go outside, you're going to have to wait. Seriously. Okay, so we're gonna do this home stencil. And I don't have my painter's tape, Mary. It's way over there. I thought I had the bigger stuff here, but I don't. But it's okay, I'm gonna try to just be really careful. And I'm just using black acrylic paint. This is um, folk art paint that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then I'm gonna use the stencil brush from Essential Stencil. And obviously you can tell that I've used it quite a bit because it is a little bit on the dirty. I did wash it, but they're reusable. So I'm just gonna do the dab, dab, dab. And I'm gonna hold this. Now you see that I put some paint on here and then I offloaded quite a bit. And I'm still gonna not like start right in the middle and I don't want to put like a whole bunch of pressure and pounce down or anything crazy like that. I'm just going to kind of start dabbing, going around. Isn't that a fun little sound? <laughs> and you can see that I still have plenty of paint and I can go back and kind of pick some of that up off of the stencil. And then when I'm done with this, I'm going to be able to, um, instead of dabbing a little, I'll do a little squirrel technique too. Um, instead of, or I'm going to be able to um, wash this stencil and then reuse it. And you can reuse them and reuse them quite a bit. So again, it is a pretty good investment, especially if you are interested in making your own signs. Like I said, I have my Cricut machine and I love it, but once you cut things out, then you have to weed them. And I've made my own stencils as well. And I have used those and I will probably show some of those in future videos too. But I have to say, these are great quality stencils. And I probably could have done this like in a 
different color, but that's all right. If you feel like you might get a little crazy and go off the edge, that's where your painter's tape would come in handy. I feel like we did a pretty darn good job there. It just looks like a big blob to you guys, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Also note that I didn't even measure or anything. Ready? Are you guys ready for the reveal? beautiful. I can kind of see where I got a little crazy. Hold it up for you guys. But not terribly, not terribly bad. I also love that their bridging is a very, very thin. So you can't, I mean, you can barely see that. But if it bothers you, you can just take a little paintbrush and you'll just want to be very careful and just fill in those little bridges. But I also kind of like the look of this particular stencil not filled in. But I know for some people it doesn't look finished or it looks kind of, they don't care for the stencil look. And another tip too, if you have a paint marker, you could probably, after things dry, you could kind of go in and smooth out that line. I don't really think that's going to bother me too much. If you wanted to, also, after that dried, you could kind of go over it with um, some sandpaper or a sanding block. I, I'm loving it. I think it, I think it looks so cute. And I used way too much black paint in there. So let me make a quick little bow here, and then we'll add some greenery. I'm going to turn on my hot glue gun. I finally got it working. You guys were here for the last video when I did my cute little rainbow thing. And the extra battery I had was not holding a charge. And I found my other glue gun kind of feeling like I was a hot mess that day. So I think I'm just going to kind of make a, a small, I don't want to get too crazy with this because um, it's not a very big space. Yeah, I think that's going to be plenty. I probably should have even grabbed like, like even smaller ribbon would probably have been better, but that's okay. I really wanted to use this cute little chick stuff. After I found it, I was like, oh. So I'm thinking like a sign that says welcome to our coop would be really cute. So before I put them all together, I'm just going to fold them in half and dovetail them. So I just folded it in half and went from the inside out and then it makes a nice little dovetail. And I know they're not the same size and that's okay because we're gonna kind of be layering them. But I do kind of want to make my dovetail the same size. Ooh. Christy, I don't know if you're still watching this, but did Frank go to the games tonight? <laughs> you get to control the TV and here you are watching me on Facebook. Or did he not go? That's where the kids are. I am just not... I don't really want to be around too many crazy people right now. We just need to stay home and stay healthy. And We had a long day yesterday. We got to go... We went and we had Greg's checkup yesterday um, with his doctor. He did. And you have your show on. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you for watching me too your free time. Okay, Katie. Where'd you put the stapler now? I try to have all these things and I just have to, oh there it is. Um anyway, we went and we had a good checkup yesterday and so now we're just kinda hanging out. Greg's still doing his um his IVs every day. There it is. 
I knew I had a big roll of twine. So, but we were, oh, somebody's coming home now, so it might get crazy. We were up at the butt crack of dawn and drove to Billings and then drove back. So, yeah, that'll be cute. And we'll add a little bit of greenery. <clears throat> it was a long day yesterday. So I'm about ready to put my pajamas on and have some hot tea and relax for the night. So the games must be over because McKinley is home now. Perfect timing. I'm almost done with my little project. I can get off and see how her day was. So I'm just going to add a little bit of greenery to this and this bow on the top there. What do you think? What do you think? I think maybe with the greenery back behind there. So this little pick came from Walmart. You can see it says the mainstays. I usually just get these type of little greenery picks wherever I can find them and um, wherever they're cheap. So I'm going to staple this on. Good evening. Staple. So if any of you guys are joining me late, this little um, project that we are doing to get my stuff organized here started out like this, this little wood piece that I got from Craft Deals. And we painted it using the um, Vaseline trick. And we're just finishing up with this stencil from Essential Stencils. If you guys are interested in getting your own stencils so that you can create your own super cute signs, there's a link for all of the stuff that I use up above. Like I said, this ribbon came from um, Tractor Supply, and it's it. They both say holiday ribbon, so I don't know. Okay, ah, I dripped. Now, if I was going to be putting this outside, I would not use hot glue on here. I would probably have stapled that on there. But because I'm not putting it outside, I'm going to put it in my kitchen. It's going to, it's going to be fine. I could still probably staple the bottom one, but I don't know. What does everybody think? Do you love this? Did it turn out super stinking cute? I'm in love with it. I just love that chippy antique look. These would also be really cute if you had like a little clip. And you could um, hot glue or screw on a clip here. And then you could hang your recipe cards for when you're cooking. That's a good idea, too. There's so many fun ideas. So many. I'm loving it. The easy, awesome bow. Yeah, that was a super easy bow. I feel like the ribbon was too big to get too crazy with it. And I probably could have just tied it on there, too. That's another option could just tie it on there and then you could take it off easier and change it out with the holidays if you want to but it's rustic it's red I got lots of red stuff in my kitchen and it's got cute little chicks on it <laughs> so I am super excited about how that turned out let me see if I can get this back <gasps> yeah it's still kind of slippery <laughs> with the Vaseline and like I said it smells pretty good but that was my fun little tutorial for you guys tonight I hope you enjoyed it I appreciate all of you guys hanging out here with me um, especially on your nights when you get to have the TV to yourself I appreciate it and I'm really glad that um, StreamYard hung out for us I don't know when I'll be back on here. I do want to come on and paint one of the DIY kits that I launched and then um, I got some new, lots of new, um, fun spring files, but I'm not quite ready to start doing, um, Easter stuff yet. We need to get through Valentine's Day. So that's my plan. But if you guys 
we're here. I appreciate everything. I appreciate you watching. And if you watch the replay, I love that you came and spent some time with me here tonight too. And I hope that you enjoyed this project. I will see you guys all again soon.